Hey you guys, so it's Kiel Shun back for another video. If you like my videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And without further ado, let's just get into today's video. Okay, as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, my long-awaited zone cleaning video is here. So today I am here to share with you guys why I um, decided to do zone cleaning, how my zone cleaning is going to work for my household because as you guys know I always tweak anything that I find. I do give credit to the person but I always make whatever I'm doing my own to fit me and my family my lifestyle and you should do exactly the same. So this video is not like a tried and true way of doing this. It's just to give you some ideas on how to do it if you would like to do it too. So why am I doing this? So if you remember back in, was it 20, it was a long time ago. It was like 2015, 16, 17, somewhere around in there. I don't know. I will link the original 31 day challenge above. A couple of years ago, let's just say that a couple of years ago, I did a 31 day comery and fly lady challenge where I challenged myself to clean up my whole house. That included decluttering tons and tons and tons of stuff that I had in my house. Now, I didn't consider myself a hoarder, but I was borderline hoarder, okay? Pack rat, hoarder, whatever you would like to call it, is sometimes, I would say, instilled in the person based off their family. My grandmother was a pack rat, my mother is a pack rat, my children are even pack rats. And so, at some point in my house, I had tons and tons of stuff. And I never could understand why when I came home, I never felt peace or just chilled or settled in my own home. And so I started doing research and was like, why do I not feel like at peace in my house? Why do I not feel chill? Why do I not feel like relaxed? And I came across an article I don't remember. I just remember what the article said. And it basically said, if you come home and it's not other people or stress or anything like that, you have to start looking at the things you may have in your house as a contributor of why you feel that way when you get home. When I got home, I didn't feel an air of like peace and serenity. I felt more like, oh, dread when I came home. And it wasn't necessarily, like I said, people. It was just the environment. Um, and so one of the suggestions was, do you have too much stuff? Because stuff weighs you down. If you come in your house and there's things everywhere all the time and it's always cluttered, whether it's clean or not, if it's always cluttered, sometimes that can bring down your mood. It can make you feel way down or heavy. And so I started looking into it and I started doing a bunch of research and that's how I found the fly lady. And then I started watching videos on how to do the fly lady, what the fly lady was, how to get started, what's the easiest way to get started. So I started the 31 day baby steps. It's 31 days to decluttering and and kind of organizing your home. It does not focus on cleaning. It does not focus on keeping your house clean. It focuses on getting rid of stuff that you don't need and only keeping stuff that you love and has a home. Um, and that goes hand in hand with the Kamari method, which I also came across while I was researching because one lady, she was decluttering and then she was doing the Kamari to show her how to fold her clothes, how to keep things organized, how to find homes for items that you love, but, and, but you didn't have necessarily a home for. And so I researched that and, um, that's how I came up with the Kamari. So I decided to do it for in October, which was my birthday month. I thought it would be a really good birthday present to myself to get on the track to having a beautiful home that I love to come to and feel the way I wanted to feel when I got home. Everybody knows your home is supposed to be your place of peace, your place of serenity, your place of chill. And I just didn't feel that way and I wanted it so bad. So I decided I was going to do whatever it took to do it, to get it done, to have my me, myself, feel that way. Um, this has been a process. Um, it has taken me over the years. It's I'm going to say it's been like four or five years, to tell you the truth. So this, don't think this is something that you're going to do just a willy-nilly right away. Um, it does take stages. It does take steps, just depending on where you are in the process. If you have tons of stuff and you've never decluttered before like I did back when I first started this, then that's the kind of, it's going to take you a while. Um, I'm still not there right now, but I am way, way, way way better than I was when I first started. As you can see, all the before of how my home looked 
looked and then if you want to see how my home looks now i have like renovation videos i have clean me videos and that will show you me like getting my hair my house to the point where it is now but that is how i started on this journey and that is why i started on this journey Okay, so with your zones, what you're doing is you're taking the zone and you're dividing up the tasks over a week period and that helps you keep your house clean. So for that particular week, you would do one zone and each day you decide how many minutes or how many hours you want to spend on that zone. For me, I spend 30 minutes a day in a particular zone cleaning it up okay um the fly lady i think she just 10 to 15 i need 30 so if you need more than 30 you can do more than 30 if you need less than 30 you can do less 30 so you know i've seen somebody do 20 minutes i've seen somebody do 22 like she broke she broke it down baby she do 22 minutes okay to get whatever it is she's trying to get me i like an even round number so 30 minutes it is if it takes me the whole 30 minutes that's fine. If it doesn't, that's even better, okay? Um, but I'm not going over 30 minutes. One thing about the zone clear is you do the time, and once the timer goes off, once the 30 minutes is up, that is it for the day. You do not do any more cleaning. This will help you, number one, keep your anxiety down. Number two, make you not feel like you're failing at cleaning because the reason is at least you're doing 30 minutes of cleaning a day. Whether it's in a zone, whether it's somewhere you need to just clean up for that day, just do the 30 minutes and get out. You will still feel accomplished. Nobody house is perfect. Nobody house is immaculate um, unless they have a maid every day. And even then, it still ain't that clean, okay? There's no way to keep your house just immaculate clean. As long as it's clean enough that if somebody surprised came to your house and walked in, you're not embarrassed, okay? Because I've had it where I'm embarrassed. Somebody came over, popped the fuck up, and my house looks a hot-ass mess, okay? Stop popping up at people's house, y'all get caught first. <laughs> but for real, if somebody came over and popped up, it's just a way for you to feel like your home is in order and you won't be embarrassed when people come over, your bathroom is clean, you know, your kitchen is clean, or whatever the case may be. So yeah, so that's basically what zone cleaning is. And so let's get into what my zones are. Okay, so what are my five zones? So my zones are broke up into colors, because you know, Colors and colors, it was cute. I did some colors too. So, my blue is my favorite color. So, my master bedroom is blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl, I gotta put that, throw that in there. Anyway, my master bedroom and bath is blue, and that includes the closet. So, on Monday, I do the shower room, which is the room where the toilet and the shower is. You guys have seen that before. Um, on Tuesday, is the main bathroom, so the part where the tub and the sinks and the vanity is. On Wednesday, it's just the master um, bedroom which is just the part where my bed and my nightstands and my papa son chair is thursday is the master closet and then friday is my final cleaning this is where i sweep all the floors mop all the floors um clean the ceiling flame flip the matches change my sheets um mop the floor all of that um is how that works okay and then in zone two is my kitchen and my kids bathroom and the reason why I did the kids bathroom with the kitchen is because number one their bathroom is super small it's not gonna take you 30 minutes to clean that bathroom up okay um, and the second thing is the first week I got my bedroom together but the second week I need to make sure my guest bathroom is clean people are coming over I'm not saying that I only clean my guest bathroom once a month but I need to just make sure it's clean on that week. I like to have it in the sex in the week. So, like I said, you can put these in whatever order you want to. I did my master bedroom first because I feel like if I take care of myself first and I feel good about my area um, after the first week of the month, it kind of gets me in good spirits. I love my room. It's serene. I'm feeling good. And that will motivate me more to clean the rest of the house if I start with myself. Remember, self-care is always the first thing. Um, so, kitchen in the a second bathroom is the second zone so on Mondays I do the pantry on Tuesdays I do the refrigerator and the reason why I do the refrigerator on Tuesdays is because Wednesday is garbage day so if I have to throw a whole bunch of food away and stuff I don't have to keep it in the house until the garbage day so it can be stanking up the house okay because if you guys don't know I live in the country my garbage can is way down the damn driveway so that way I can get that all taken out and um, the garbage man can get it and then it won't stick up the house. And then Wednesday is the top cabinet, Thursday is the bottom cabinet, and Friday is the kids' bathroom. Now, I know you guys know, oh, the dining room is not in there. Okay, I don't have any furniture in my dining room. If you know my house, I have no table, no chairs, no nothing. So once I get a dining room, this, this section may be modified just a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. We still ain't doing no Saturdays and Sundays. So once that comes around, I will. Then zone three is the porch, the den, and the living room. So like my entryway of my home. 
Um, a lot of people say, well, why wouldn't you do that on the first of the month? I just, nobody ever goes in our den. I mean, our living room is not a place where we congregate. My porch doesn't have anything on it. That's why the only thing you see is sweep. That I don't have no furniture, hardly anything on there. So I just sweep it, boom, takes, it really takes less than 30 minutes, but I'm going to dedicate a whole day to it until I get, you know, a back deck or something like that. And then it'll, you know, I could take 30, 30 minutes doing it. And then we have the den, the most popular room in the house. We are always in there playing games, watching movies, eating, chilling, lounging. So that room definitely needs to be the second. So I have Tuesday and Wednesday for that. And then Thursday and Friday is the living room. And then my fourth zone is my office and the laundry room, okay? So my office, you guys know I'm always in here filming, doing something, crafting. Who knows, child? My office always is a disaster area. Um, and then the laundry room, once I get it situated, organized, it will be a three-day process in my laundry room. I have a lot of stuff in there. I have, like, my um, air conditioning unit thing that goes in the house. I have the deep freeze in there. I have a utility sink. I have, you know, my wash and dry. I have the cabinets in there. I have the floor. And, you know, once I get it cleaned out and decorated how I want it to, it will take probably a three-day process to clean the laundry room. So that's why I gave it three days. And like I said, we'll tweak it as um time goes on this stuff is not set in stone and the final zone is the kids bedroom okay so the reason why they're the final zone is because we don't always get five weeks which means we won't always get a full week to clean their room they're 21 and 14 yes i still clean up behind them because children just do not know how to clean to the standards of a parent so sometimes i do have to go in there and do a little extra they're never going to wash their windows they're never going to wash the wall they ain't going to do the door they're going to be a room minimum like they may sweep the floor and make up their bed and pick up their clothes but i have to go in there and do some deep cleaning every now and then and i know some people are like well they old enough you should teach them even if they are old enough and I should teach them, they ain't gonna do it the way I wanted to, so why even argue with children? I just gonna do it myself. So I may not get to it every month and that's completely fine because we can just close that door. Mm-hmm, just close that door. But when I can and when I do have time, I will go ahead and work on their room. So that is why they're the last zone because if I don't get to it, then I don't feel guilty. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, so the next thing we're going to look at is how the calendar falls. This will determine when you work on a zone and how long you work on a zone. Most likely your zones two, three, and four will always be a full week, but your zone one and five may not be a full week. So you may have to, you know, tweak it a little bit. So this month I did have to tweak it. So for the month of May, as you see, the first of May fell on a Friday and I don't work on Saturday, Sunday, clean it up. So for me, I have one day to do zone one. Now, with the fly lady, you have three days because she'll do the first, the second, and third. So, if you decide to work on the weekends, that is completely fine. If you decide, okay, I will not work on the weekends unless my zone is just one day, and then I'll go ahead and work on the weekends. For me, I made it a choice. May the first, I decided I didn't want to work this weekend. I wasn't doing it, okay? So, what did I do? If you do 30 minutes a day for five minutes, that's two hours and 30 minutes of cleaning a week. So, I only clean for two hours and 30 minutes a week. Okay, so if you see my home in any of my blogs and it looks clean and it looks put together, that's all I do when it comes to zone cleaning. This is not daily cleaning. This is not evening cleaning. We will do that in a separate video. Um, let me know below if you want that video or not. Um, I decided to do two hours. I wasn't doing two hours and 30 minutes. I did two hours. I had two hours yesterday to get this shit done. So I decided to clean my whole room in two hours yesterday. It actually took me less than two hours. I think I had like 13 minutes left when I finally cleaned everything and got everything done. Um, and then some stuff I skipped and I decided not to do, which is completely fine. Um, so it's up to you. So the first, second, and third, you could do zone one or you could do zone one all in one day on that Friday if you have time. I had time yesterday, so I did it. It's done. I, my room looks amazing. I'm super excited. So then you have the 4th through the 10th for zone two, the 11th through the 17th for zone three, the 18th through the 24th for zone four. And now I have... 25th to the 30, 31st, which is a whole week to do the zone five, which is the kids' room. Zone one starts back over on the first of every single month, so don't carry zone five into the next month, like 30th, the first day of the next month. No, once the 30th or the last 31st or whatever the last day of that month is, that's the end of zone five. Zone one always starts on the first, zone five always ends on the last day of whatever month it is. So that's how that falls. So that is how basically I do my zone cleaning and the steps that I take. Now, like I said, if you work on the weekends or if you wanna make an exception and work on the weekend, I could have did my 
zone one on the day the first the second and the third and had three days but i didn't want to do none this weekend okay i want to record a video okay and not do no cleaning so that's what i'm gonna do not no cleaning in my zone now i will do my daily cleaning which is like keeping the kitchen clean straighten up the den which is a completely different set of cleaning rules based off you know the fly lady as well but like i said if you want that in a separate video how i do that then let me know down below and i will get that out for you guys so that is how i do um break up my zones based off the month and how the month starts and ends okay you guys so that is how i do my zone cleaning i want to let you guys know that i am going to do videos on how i actually do my zones i actually recorded the first video yesterday and it will be up next tuesday at 2 p.m okay so make sure you guys got the notification bell on make sure you subscribe you know make sure you get that done um and um so i will have one for each zone i don't know if it's gonna be a continued series because once i clean the zone do you really want to clean me see me clean it every single month five times a month i don't know let me know in the comments below if you want me to do it every single time you know but i will be doing my first full month so my first full month was in april and this is basically my second month i just wanted to tweak it and make sure everything went the way i wanted to before i started recording it so zone one was recorded yesterday and then zone two will start on monday three four and then so every week you will get a new zone um so you can see how i do my zone cleaning and you already saw how i break it down by the day um so yeah but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye